talk about rabbit planes. I've got a variety of different planes here that are all rabbit planes. And again, the difference between a rabbit plane and a standard plane is here's a standard plane. The blade doesn't come all the way to the edge. Where with a rabbit plane, it does. And that lets you plane a rabbit where you're going down along a, the side of a face and trying to deepen sort of a groove or something. And so for our purposes, if I'm trying to plane here along these forms, I'll end up running into the forms and I won't be able to true up this edge right where the form is with the standard plane because the edge just doesn't, it just doesn't cut all the way down to the form here. Where if I use a rabbit plane, I can run it along that edge and it'll cut right down to the form. And so it does a good job going past the forms and going along there. But this is the first rabbit plane I got, you know, just to solve this problem where I wanted to true up a line next to the forms. And so I bought this rabbit plane. This is a really nice plane. I really like it. Um, but you may have noticed when I was doing that, I've got my fingers right here. They serve as a fence. Um, and so that makes it so I don't end up hitting the form too much. You know, I still end up, if I get off, a little off, I end up hitting and I get to readjust. There are times when the standard um, rabbit plane like this tool comes in really handy, specifically down at the ends. I'll show you how I use it to tr uh, true up the ends a little bit. With the Stanley 79, when I come down along here and the fence is set, it doesn't cut all the way down to the bottom of the strip because the strip is up at an angle. So even though it's a 3 16 strip and this tool is set to cut 3 16 deep, since the strip is at an angle, the plane, the blade doesn't reach all the way down. So I end up with a you know, nice face up at the top, but the bottom edge gets a little bit ragged. I could either remove the fence or um, adjust the fence high, like on this tool, and then come down and shave that off. But it um, gets a little tricky there. With the tool that probably works best in this situation is the more traditional rabbit plane. I can set it up right against the face and shave it down. So that's taking that ragged edge off. So where, where I have a wider surface that I need to plane, this tool works really well. Where the tool you've been seeing me use most of the time is this old Stanley 79. I added this fence to it. And it's a fairly standard um, item to have a fence on these like this. You can buy those new reproductions of these planes. I think Koontz makes one. Um, record may. There, there, there's several of them available that I've seen. Um, and they all come standard with a fence. And a lot of the old original Stanley 79s did also. I ended up having to tap some holes in here and put these some screws and it's just a piece of cherry or something. Um, and so with that I can go right down along the strip and not hit the forms. And it works very nicely. And this has blades are cut in either direction. So especially here along the key line as I go towards the um, stern, the strips are rising up and so the grays, grains rising up this way and so it's easier to cut with the grain going that way and then towards the bow going that way the, the grain starting to come out on this side so it's easier to cut going this way. And so this is the tool I've been using a lot but a really nice tool I, I found also is this Veritas. It's basically the same idea. The difference is it has this adjustable fence. Let me switch to either way. And so you can cut either way by flipping the fence. Um, and it also has this nice handle situation where it's spring loaded and so it's comfortable holding it like this. Not so comfortable like this 
but I can take the handle and switch it over to the other side. It's a very well-made tool, and I really like this tool. The downside of it is since this fence is only on one side at a time, if I want to switch directions, I've got to switch that fence over. It's okay. It works great. Veritas has this one, and I think uh, the Wood River brand, I believe it is, um, uh, that Woodcraft puts out, or maybe Stanley puts it out. I'm not sure who puts it out. Um, they have one that's quite similar to this. Um, not quite as well made, but I suspect it works just fine. The other kind of rabbit plane I have is my robo bevel. And again, this is using these little shoulder planes. And you can get shoulder plane, you know, this is, this is a ridiculous tiny little shoulder plane. Um, you can get shoulder planes that are much bigger than this, and they'll do the same job. You can rig up a fence on them if you want and run them right down along the edge of the strip and they work great. I've rigged this robo bevel up so it has this fence on it which helps ride along the top of the strip when I'm trying to make the bevel. But what this is designed to do is ride flat against the forms and create a bevel on the existing strip that is square to the surface of the forms out beyond it. When I'm working on the center line or the key line or the water line, I'm usually trying for an angle that's a little bit different. But specifically on the center line, I want this line to be vertical. With the, both these rabbit planes, it's very easy to maintain a vertical line. You just hold the face of the tool vertically, and now you know that the blade is cutting at a vertical line. Um, this one is even more obvious than the little Stanley 79 because it's such a wide face there. It's really easy to keep this vertical. Um, this one is a little less obvious, but it's still pretty straightforward how to keep it vertical. Here, this, likewise, you hold this face vertical, it's going to cut a vertical edge on that. The robo bevel really isn't the tool for this. You could absolutely hold this horizontal which will make a vertical cut so the plane that this tool is held at is perpendicular to the surface that you're creating or the bevel you're creating so if you hold your robo bevel horizontally you'll get a vertical cut where with these tools you hold the tool vertically you get a vertical cut I find my go-to tool with this is this Stanley 79 because I can switch directions I set the fence once for the whole boat and I can switch directions whenever I want um, this works just about as well but since you gotta switch the fence around it's a little bit more difficult to switch directions these work great and since it has no fence you never have to switch the fence over you can always just use your fingers as a fence and run it down the surface of the strips and that works very well also. Rabbit planes work great for doing this beveling kind of work. Um, I really like them. And I guess if I were to choose one at this point, I'd probably choose the Stanley 79 or one of the knockoffs. Obviously the knockoffs probably aren't as good as the uh, antique Stanley 79. These Veritas tools are very well made. I really like them. Um, this Lee Nielsen rabbit plane is a great tool, and it works in this situation, but it's probably not the ideal tool for this situation. Really, I'm glad I have all of them.